Hey guys, my name is Grant and welcome back to Rusty Autoholic Garage. So today, the first thing we're going to do is a quick test fire of the D1503 turbo diesel 1.5 liter 3 cylinder from Kubota because um, I finally got it running, admittedly. I thought I had the first fire on film and I didn't. Apparently I wasn't recording, so this will technically be the second fire. Um, but a quick little setup of what's going on. So. This is an interesting motor compared to the V2403, um, and I'll put a link down in the description of when I got that one fired. The only thing I really had to do on that one is supply it fuel because it had a mechanical lift pump and it had a mechanical fuel shutoff. Uh, this has neither, so I ended up having to get this um, Duralift uh, lift pump, which I will be using in my 1947 CJ2A, but I also had to wire up this. This is the cutoff solenoid. So you have to energize this so it will actually start. And the way you turn this engine off is by basically removing the 12 volts from this. Um, but anyway, uh, gonna shift to that real quick, gonna show it running, and then I'm gonna talk about how my 1947 CJ2A build has just completely changed on me. Okay, so here's going to be the new drive terrain for my 1947 CJ2A, which I've called Project Peggy. Um, this has changed since the last video where I announced what I was doing. Originally, it was going to be this D1503 Kubota three-cylinder 1.5 turbo diesel, and it was going to be mated to a Chevrolet Turbo 350 three-speed automatic that was adapted to a Toyota RF1A gear driven transfer case. However, when I picked up the Suzuki Samurai to use the frame and axle and suspension and steering as the base for my CJ2A, I didn't really realize at the time how unique the Suzuki transfer cases were. And I'll go into details about that in a minute, but the biggest change in all this is this. This is the new automatic transmission I'm going to. Now, I found this about a week and a half ago. And, you know, huge shout out to Kubota Swappers. The second I found it, it was like 11 o'clock at night, I just started blowing up his phone. I uh, started texting him and was like, dude, do you think this could work? Could we make an adapter for it? So what this is, is a Ford 6R80 automatic transmission out of a 2011 or newer Ford F-150. They come in a couple of other models, but I'm not the biggest Ford guy, so I don't know what other models they come in. But what makes this transmission so interesting is, first, this is a six-speed automatic. This has six Ford gears, two overdrives, and an insane first gear. So, very deep first gear, two overdrives, and it's just, in terms of shift points for a diesel where I can only rev about 3,000 RPM, the shift points on this are amazing. But the second piece that makes this transmission really interesting is the length. From the face here to this output or output shaft, excuse me, this is just a hair smaller than the Turbo 350 automatic. And the reason for this is this has clutches for all the gears. So they were able to really compact the transmission. But the reason I like this even more than the 6L80E, which is the GM six speed automatic is, there is a company here in the United States called US Shift. And they make a complete standalone transmission controller for this. So, and all you have to do is supply it an RPM signal and TPS, throttle position sensor. And with those two inputs, it is a completely customizable and programmable transmission. So I can tune all the shift points 
red lines, everything for this motor with that one box. So I am collaborating with Kubota Swappers and we are making an adapter plate for the 6R80 transmission to these 03 series Kubota diesel engines. So anything that's an 03, so basically a, four, a D1403, D1503, which is what this is, a D1703, a D1803, so those are all the three cylinders. And then the V1903, V2003, V2203, which is the most common. And then the V2403. All of those will be able to be adapted and bolted to this Ford 6R80 six-speed automatic. Now, the other reason this is really interesting for my build is in Project Peggy, the biggest problem is I have a very short wheelbase and by using a three cylinder, it helps save a lot of space. But there are some trade offs with that. One of the bigger trade offs is I only have 45 horsepower, and I'm gonna go conservative on the torque rating and say 90. Normally on these diesels, the torque is about double the horsepower, usually a little bit more. So estimate anywhere between 90 to 100 foot pounds of torque. That's where this Suzuki transfer case, Samurai transfer case, comes into hand. These are amazing little transfer cases because one, they're divorced. So you don't have to adapt them to anything. You just need a tiny little drive shaft to connect it to the output of your transmission. But the thing I like the most about these is this is the first transfer case that I have come across where high gear is not one to one. On a factory Suzuki Samurai transfer case, high gear is actually 1.41 to one. And the reason that interests me so much is it amplifies what little horsepower and torque I have to help get my CJ2A going on 32 inch tires with 373 gearing. So anyway, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you think this is a really cool project. And hey, again, I don't know if this is going to work. And that's the beauty of it. Um, and if you don't like this video, you know what to do. And uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. If you have, as always, thank you so much. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about Project Peggy. I have made some progress on it. The fuel tank is about to go back in. The rear drive shaft's about to go in. I'm about to bolt on the starter, the alternator, the power steering. And I'm also gonna be putting on the front grill probably all here in the next two to three days. So I'm gonna be posting a lot of videos about Project Peggy coming up. I've just been waiting on some bolts and various other little bits and pieces to be shipped here, and they should be getting here tomorrow. So I haven't forgotten about Project Peggy. That one is hopefully gonna be at least running soon. I'm not saying driving, I'm just saying running. But um, haven't forgotten about her, but wanted to give y'all an update on what I'm doing and what I'm collaborating with Kubota Swappers with. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video very soon. Goodbye.